peace. I have a perspective, really one, I feel like we can go down the rabbit hole on all sorts of stuff and, you know, I think you have to, to a point to get through even like what people call their shadow work or kind of like a form of therapy, really, but if we really look at it, do we see, I guess mine is, do we see everything comes right back to like one point is everything's meant to be? Like, everywhere we go, when we walk down the road, situations, people, places, things, like, I felt like even going through my journey in life, if I look at everything I've done, like, looking back now, of course, you know, I had to go through, like, the lessons to understand, I guess, the sense of duality, really, but everything got me to where I am, even if it, it grew me in some form, but it was all meant to be to where I am now and to add the free will like I make the conscious choice not to be a victim or to live in fear or to let my mind play tricks on me anymore I'm done like um I choose to see the good and the positive and the love and I look back now and everyone that's been in my life I'll just give that an example because you can go in all aspects every situation everything like even the foods I ate or, you know, like everything, it was meant to be. And when I look back, you know, I didn't know what, everyone's taught me a lesson. Everybody has taught me a lesson um, about myself, about other people's behaviors, like all sorts of stuff. And I really got now where I watch what I say to myself, like on the inside, like, my intuition, my mind's eye, you know, um, and I believe if I choose not to be critical and judgmental to anyone else, as I, as for myself, as above, so below kind of vibe, that life is so much more beautiful because if I'm constantly criticizing and judging somebody, yeah, I don't have to agree, but they're not on my path. But it's meant to be for me to either learn about myself or learn what I do and do not want. And it's like everyone goes together in a weird way. Like, do we get that? Everything is meant to be. And it's everything that we get is what we need in a sense. Even if it's a lesson of eating all that damn chocolate cake, you're going to learn that you're going to get a bellyache. Or... Your sugar might be low and you need it. Like, you know, like, I mean, there's so many aspects because I was thinking about that too. But, like, I've learned a lot because I've been a candy holic and I can't eat candy like that. I'll get a bellyache now. My body's, like, changed the more I'm consistent on certain foods I eat. But, like, I learned that. And by choosing to learn and to grow from all my situations... It's awesome, and I'm not staying stagnant on the same cycle, like different lessons. Like, I feel like this is like everything we've been taught and like everyone's talking about right now too, and it's like, whoa, dude. And even getting through a lot of the stuff in my life, it all goes back to accepting what is and not trying to control the outcome, but learning from it, like, because it's kind of like contradictory in a way because... We get what we need, not necessarily what we want. And I think you have to really just accept that inside is want and need is a whole different thing. I mean, some people want drugs, but do they need it? No. Some people want to overeat. Do they need it? Some people want to like do this, but do they need it? I think it's discerning in what one defines as a want and a need because I was thinking about that. And we don't always get what we want. We get what we need in the sense of every moment. If we choose to keep going on the same cycle over and over again, we'll keep going until we realize like sometimes you need people in your life and you don't got to sit there and try to control that they're not a certain way, you know, like you're supposed to have self-control and boundaries, but then there's that fine line too of, not trying to over control the gift presented to you by the universe in learning a lesson 
do we get that? Like, I feel like it can all be kind of summed up, but I guess we you have to admit stuff, like, on an inner level. Because everything I've been, like, observing and watching with people now, like, this is my perspective, but it all goes back to being in the moment, accepting things, ex and listening to what you're saying inside, you, you, you know, your higher self, your mind, um, not being your own critic. And, you know, there's... I'll just use it like a negative critic in there, which is like helps us with duality, which is needed. But in a sense, once we get point past that point, it's like free will. Are you going to be a victim and be scared and be scared to take a risk and jump into something because everyone says that's not cool. Don't do it. Or are you going to do it and you're going to embrace it and you're going to learn from it and you're going to grow from it and you're not going to, grow you're not going to have that certain expectation besides positivity i feel like i feel like everything it all goes back to everything's meant to be be in the moment love yourself be positive don't judge anyone else you know like if we judge anyone else if we have dislikes on anybody else all of that is saying for me is there's something about us that we don't like because if you're totally balanced, why would you not like something about somebody? And why would you say they don't fit in my category? If you truly understand everyone is meant to be where they are and everyone has their own path, then why would you make someone not be good enough? Anybody. Like I get discerning when people make certain choices, but it doesn't make you better than them. You just have a different path and you choose a different free will. Love and being a victim, that's it. But no one's better than anyone. And if we keep thinking that way and be critical, like, you are not going to help each other and we're not going to, like, see the blessing that's given. And we're going to stay in a stagnant place because that's a, da a shadow, in a sense, if we judge anyone for where they're at in their life. If we're truly living our own life, I don't know. It just all seems to go together. <laughs>